In this video, we are going to talk about the sex determination in Drosophila melanogaster. So, uh, size of adult, the shape of abdomen, markings on the abdomen, appearance of the sex comb, external genitalia on abdomen, and the sex organs during larval stages are the morphological characteristics that are considered while sex determination in Drosophila melanogaster. So, what are the features that we use to determine the sex of adult fruit flies? First of all, it's the size of adult. Talking about the size, female is generally larger as compared to the male. Shape of the abdomen. In case of females, the tip of abdomen is usually elongated and in males, it is slightly rounded. Talking about the markings on the abdomen. The female of fruit fly Drosophila melanogaster contains alternate light and dark bands on the abdomen as you can see in this figure. The female contain alternating light and dark band whereas the last few abdominal segments of the male are fused and are dark colored as you can see in this figure. So, uh, the female abdomen contains almost uh, seven segments, whereas the abdomen of uh, male Drosophila melanogaster is comprised of five segments. Next is appearance of the sex comb. So, uh, the males of Drosophila melanogaster contain sex combs. Sex comb is basically a fringe of about 10 stout black bristles. As you can see in this figure, that uh, the sex comb is located uh, on the distal surface of uh, basal. Basal means uppermost, that is the dorsal segment. Of the foreleg so uh, these bristles are absent in the females so sex identification using the sex comb can also be done at the pupil stage so uh, next is external genitalia on the abdomen and uh, the female ovipositor is pointed and it's located at the tip of the abdomen whereas uh, the claspers of males are darkly pigmented and are located at the ventral uh, uh, side of the tip of abdomen and these are arranged in circular form. Uh, sex organs during the larval stages. During late larval stages, uh, the sex organs uh, within the body of the larvae can be seen. So in case of males, there is a white mass of uh, testicular tissue that is present on the posterior third portion of the larvae and uh, along with the lateral fat bodies and it can be seen through the integument. In case of females, the ovarian tissue constitutes a much smaller mass as compared to the testicular tissue present in the male larvae.